Billy Martin, Chairman of the Botetourt County Board of Supervisors. I'm speaking to you today on how your Botetourt County government is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic and how you can get information about county operations and services. It's been three weeks since your county government announced measures to, to uh, combat COVID-19. Uh, the county continues to operate and essential services are being provided without a hiccup. Dedicated men and women continue to leave their families in the isolated safety of their homes to provide law enforcement fire protection and emergency medical assistance to the rest of us. Although county offices are closed to public access, most public services continue without delay. Thanks to previous investments in technology, nearly all employees who work does not require them to be physically present in their workplaces are able to fulfill their duties remotely. Building permits are being issued uh, inspections are being made and families and business owners are continuing to be able to comp complete construction and move into new or renovated homes and workplaces. Library resources and services are available online, not only to help occupy and entertain us as we stay at home, but to support the continued reading and learning of our students now that schools are closed. Preparations for, these, for this fall's elections continue. Trash and recycling is continued um, and be as collected and, uh, and properly disposed of on a regular schedule. Human, resource, uh, human support services continue to be provided to those in need. And despite the closure of our schools, the school administrators and teachers are continuing to educate our students in creative, non-traditional ways. Information about how to access county services and about how your government is responding to COVID-19 is available on the county website. Under quick links and COVID-19 updates, this site will be the official place where the county will post COVID-related information. While we are doing all we can do to maintain public services, many of you are experiencing the impact this pandemic is having on our economy, on incomes and on jobs, and it's impacting the county's revenues most immediately and significantly, meals and sales taxes. We have always managed the county's funds conservatively and tried to be good stewards with the resources entrusted to us. On March 20th, County Administrator Gary LaRue implemented an immediate freeze on non-essential essential hiring and spending. In addition, the Board of Supervisors on March 24th postponed adoption of the fiscal 2021 county budget until late June and directed the budget subcommittee to monitor and continue work on the budget in light of the economic conditions we face. We are working to still hold meetings that are required by law. However, these meetings will be in a different format than has been normal. Our technology department is assisting administration with solutions that will allow citizens to be involved with meetings and provide input. We encourage Botetourt citizens to send comments to our offices by mail, email, or other ways that will be detailed in an ad the Board of Supervisors will be placing in the Fincastle Herald. And I would like to wish to make sure that you understand that Botet the Board of Supervisors has no plans to increase the real estate tax rate. We are all in this together and we are all adapting and well under the conditions. We have changed the way we work, how we worship, how we spend our leisure, and how we interact with one another. It has separated us from friends and even family. <clears throat> While COVID-19 has temporarily shaken our confidence, it has not reduced our determination. While COVID-19 has changed us, we will ensure the change is for the better. We will come out of this more united, more resilient and stronger as a county, a state, a nation, and as a world. This is a battle every single one of us must fight, and we must fight together. It will take every man, woman, and child to do their part to put an end to this pandemic. Failure by a single person can lead to illness and death by many. So I ask you 
stay home unless it's absolutely necessary to go out. If you must go out, be vigilant and keep away from others, at least six feet. Take every precaution you can. Mask, gloves, wash your hands frequently. Do not let this invisible threat lull you into noncompliance. There's no, no question that we as a community, as a county, Bonnetite County, will make it through this. The only question is whether we will lose more members of our community along the way. We're talking about family members, uh, friends, co-workers, and neighbors. Any loss is too much, and not another single loss is necessary. So I say take precautions, stay safe, and keep others safe. And I will continue to share information with you as we fight COVID-19 as the Botetourt County team. May God continue to richly bless you, the world, our nation, our commonwealth, and Botetourt County. Thank you.